Welcome. You're tuned into Tangled Threads. If you're digging our content, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Hey everyone, long time lurker here, but this is my first time posting. I guess I never thought I'd find myself in a situation where I'd be on this side of the story, but life has a funny way of throwing curveballs. I've seen a lot of stories here about infidelity, and always wondered how people find themselves in those situations. Well, now I know, and I'm not proud of it. This is going to be a bit of a ramble because my thoughts are all over the place, but I really need to get this off my chest. My husband, let's call him Mark, and I have been married for a few years now. We've always been pretty happy, or at least I thought we were. Lately though, Mark's been bringing up the idea of starting a family. Every other conversation, it felt like he was hinting at, or outright asking when we'd have a kid. The truth is, the very thought of having a child right now terrifies me. It's not that I don't want kids ever, but the idea of diving into parenthood at this point in our lives just feels suffocating. Growing up, I was the middle child among five siblings. My childhood memories are a chaotic mix of endless noise, messes, and responsibilities that seem to fall on me by virtue of being old enough to help out, but young enough to still be under my parents' authority. My siblings were my first and most enduring lesson on how demanding kids can be. They're adorable, sure, but they're also a 24-7 commitment. And once you're in, there's no pause button, no break. The thought of going back to that kind of life, especially when I feel like I've just started to enjoy the freedom and spontaneity of adulthood, turns my stomach. Mark doesn't seem to get it. He sees kids as the next logical steep, a joyful addition. But all I see is the end of late night movies, impromptu trips, and, well, fun as we know it. I tried explaining my perspective, using my childhood as a reference point, but it seemed to make him more determined, as if he wanted to prove that we could do it differently. But why can't he understand this? It's my body after all. Why does he need a kid so badly anyway? But anyway, a couple of nights ago, after yet another round of what felt like the same conversation, I snapped. I was so angry, not just at Mark, but at the whole situation. I wanted to scream, to make him understand that I wasn't ready, that I might never be ready if he kept pushing me like this. In a moment of sheer impulsiveness, I decided to do something I never do. I went to a bar, alone. I told Mark, I was visiting a friend, a lie that tasted bitter on my tongue. I don't know what I was looking for, maybe just a space to breathe without the weight of expectations suffocating me. The bar was loud, filled with people looking to escape their own realities for a while. I ended up talking to someone, let's call him Jake, and one thing led to another. I wasn't thinking about tomorrow or even the next hour. I was running on a cocktail of anger and desperation to feel something other than pressured. Waking up the next morning was like being hit by a freight train of guilt and shame. The anger that had fueled my decision the night before had evaporated, leaving behind nothing but regret. I wasn't really angry at Mark, I realized. I was scared, scared of change, of losing myself to a role I wasn't sure I was cut out for. I still don't want a kid, at least not right now, but I also know I crossed a line that I can never uncross. Part of me wonders if I should tell Mark. The thought terrifies me because I know how it sounds. He might think I'm too immature to handle our problems without resorting to cheating. Worse, he might decide that this is something he can't forgive. I'm scared he'll see it as me being reckless with our marriage, choosing a moment of escapism over our commitment to each other. But then, isn't that exactly what I did? I don't know how to make things right, or if they can even be made right. I understand if you judge me, I judge myself enough for the both of us. Right now, I'm just lost, trying to figure out where to go from here. How do you come back from making the biggest mistake of your life? Is it even possible to rebuild trust after something like this? I don't have the answers, but I'm hoping that maybe, just maybe, someone here might. Sorry for the long post. I guess I just needed to tell someone, even if it's strangers on the internet. Thanks for listening. Update. Hey, it's me again. I didn't expect to be back so soon, or under these circumstances, but here we are. Last time I posted, I shared the story of how I ended up cheating on my husband, Mark because I felt suffocated by the pressure of starting a family. I was a mess of emotions then, torn between guilt and fear, unsure of whether to come clean about my mistake. Well, things have unraveled, to say the least. 
and not in a way I ever anticipated. After a lot of internal debate, I decided to tell Mark the truth. It was the hardest conversation of my life, and I'd be lying if I said I went into it without hoping for some kind of forgiveness, a way to move past it together. But that's not what happened. Mark was devastated, more than I'd prepared myself for. He didn't yell or throw accusations. He was just broken. That hurt more than anything. After a few days of heavy silence, he told me he couldn't stay in the marriage. He needed space and time to think, away from me. So, here I am, living back with my parents. It feels like a massive step backward, and not just in my relationship. I'm in my childhood bedroom, surrounded by old posters and memories of a simpler time, trying to navigate my shattered adult life. It's humiliating, not just the moving back part, but the reasons behind it. My parents know everything. Mark didn't keep the reason for our separation a secret. Their disappointment is a constant weight, adding to the already unbearable load of self-loathing and regret. Living here has made dating, or even the thought of meeting someone new, feel like an impossible task. How do you explain to someone that you're divorced because you cheated, and now you live with your parents? It sounds like the setup for a bad joke. I can't help but feel like this is a deal breaker for most guys, a neon sign flashing messy, complicated run above my head. And the worst part? I'm mad. Mad at Mark for not being able to forgive me, for not even trying to work through it. I know it's unfair, that my expectations were unrealistic, but the feeling is there, festering. I keep thinking about all the ways we could have fixed things if he'd just been willing to try. It's a toxic loop of thoughts because deep down, I know the fault is mine. My actions set this disaster in motion, Yet here I am, feeling abandoned because of the consequences. Living with my parents has been a reality check in the worst possible way. Every day is a reminder of my failure, not just in my marriage, but in managing my life. It's like I've regressed to a teenager, dependent and directionless. I hate the pitying looks, the tiptoeing around my feelings, and the whispered conversations they think I don't hear. I hate that my choices have led me here, to this place of stagnation, and regret. I thought moving back would be a temporary setback, a brief period of discomfort before I got back on my feet. But it feels like I'm stuck, trapped by my own bad decisions and the fallout they caused. The irony isn't lost on me. I was so afraid of having a child because I thought it would end my freedom and fun. Yet here I am, living a life that's anything but free or fun. I don't know where to go from here. The idea of starting over is daunting, and the path to redemption seems clouded by my own anger and self-pity. I guess I'm just hoping for a glimmer of hope, a sign that it's possible to rebuild from here, to find some semblance of happiness after causing so much pain. But right now, that hope feels as distant as the life I once thought I was fighting to keep. Thanks for letting me vent, even if it's just into the void. Maybe one day I'll have a happier update to share, but for now, I'm just trying to make it through each day. You know what I'm gonna say? I'm not even gonna say it. Let's all just bask in the pile of horse shit we just heard. Anyways, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threads.